Welcome to PDI's 4-Minute Teacher Tip. For more teacher resources and online courses, visit us at webteaching.com. This week, we'll cover how to create a classroom website with Weebly. This is part one of a two-part video series on creating a website with Weebly. We'll cover the first half of creating the website this week, and next week we'll cover the second half. To get started, go to education.weebly.com and create a free account. Once you're all set, select the Site option as the focus of your site. Scroll through and check out all of the themes that are available. Pick a theme that you like. Select the first option to create a subdomain of Weebly, which is free. Select a name to go before .weebly.com. This URL will serve as your web address. You are now in the Site Editor. Scroll down to look at the theme that you chose. The canvas that you're looking at provides a preview of the site. On the left are the elements that you can use to add content to your page. Up top are buttons that you can use to build the site, change the design, manage the pages, and update the settings. Every theme has pre-designated areas where you can add text. Click on these areas to change the text. Any area with text can be changed, including buttons. You can also change the default image in your theme. Click Add Image. Use the options at the top to search for an image or enter an image URL. If you want to upload an image from your computer, use the button below. Select an image and click Open. Your image is inserted in place of the default image. Click and drag the image to the desired location, then click OK. Click the Save button at the top right. Select Save to this page only. Take a look at your site with the new image added. Notice your site has a navigation bar at the top. There are three default pages, Home, About, and Contact. We are currently on the Home page, but let's click on the next link to edit and preview the About page. Here we are on the About page. Notice this page has an image header. If you don't like it, you can remove it by hovering over the image, clicking the gear icon, and selecting No Header. Let's practice adding content to this page. In the Elements panel on the left, click and drag the title element onto the page. Then click inside the box to edit the title text. To add body text, click and drag the text element onto the page. Then click to add text. Now let's try adding an image. Click and drag the image element onto the page. Click on the page element to upload an image. Repeat the same process we did on the home page to add an image. To edit the image, click on the image and click Edit Image. You can use the toolbar at the top to crop, rotate, or add effects to the image, or click and drag the sides or corners of the image to resize it. Click Save. That's it for this week's 4-Minute Teacher Tip on how to use Weebly to create a classroom website. Stay tuned for the second part of this video series next week as we finish creating the classroom website. PDI offers online courses for teachers, including many courses on integrating technology into the classroom. For more information about PDI online courses, go to webteaching.com. For more free teacher tips and resources, check out our blog at webteachingblog.com.